What's the dumbest thing you actually believed? As a kid. My sister told me that we had an older brother that died. She said he died when playing bowling and his fingers didn't come out the ball and slid all the way down the alley then he turned into a skittle. I used to think that people exclusively wore hats if they were bald. Because that's why my dad wore a hat. My dad is bald but has always had a beard, since I've known him. Anyway. He was also a serviceman. He used to tell me that the reason he was bald was that he stood on a landmine which blew the hair off the top of his head and it slipped round to give him the beard instead. As a child I was just like yep. Makes sense. Hair not on head. Hair in chin. That's gravity for ya. Yeah. He also told me that a scar on his leg was from a gunshot wound. 20 years later I got a bug bite on my leg. That got infected, sorry. Hope you're not eating, and left a perfectly round scar in the same place as his. I commented on how much my bug bite scar looked like his gunshot wound scar and he said what? Is that what I told you? No. This was a bug bite that got infected. Double quote. Ah. Dads. That reindeer wasn't an actual animal but specifically a mythical animal that Santa Claus used. I believed this until I was 23 or so when I saw some nature documentary talking about reindeer. I was like. Why are it? More so naive and innocent rather than dumb but still funny. My dad used to tell us kids that a dwarf little person worked in and operated every car park barrier in the world. Every time he drove up to one he'd press the button for the ticket and say cheers mate. How's the wife? And fake a conversation as he waited for the barrier to open lol. I was convinced that Greeks still worshipped Zeus and other gods for a while after I heard the word Greek Orthodox Church as a kid. This reminds me of another stupid thing I believed. When I was in middle school I watched a documentary about gothic churches. I believed that goth was a religion. I asked a couple goth friends at the time about fire religion. They played along for a while that day. Until finally I realized they were laughing at me. I later realized gothic is describing the architecture of the church. My friends never let me live that one down. When I was a kid I used to think professional wrestling was real. And the undertaker scared the living shti out of me during his whole ministry of darkness phase. I thought he actually was satan's minister or something. Like yeah. He's an undead overlord of hell. Here to bring an eternity of darkness and misery to this planet. But he also has to make a weekly television appearance to win a wrestling competition. And you can buy his action figure at Toys R Us. When I was a little kid. I believed that when people got divorced. They had a divorce ceremony. Like where they had to go to church and say. I don't. And I imagined the woman wore a black divorce dress. Like her wedding dress had been dyed black. And that everybody went to the reception where the ex-bride and ex-groom sat on opposite sides of the hall and there was a divorce cake where the little bride and groom on top had their backs to each other with their arms angrily crossed. I eventually learned. From watching my mom's soap operas. That this was not the case. And was kind of disappointed cause I'd been to a few weddings by then. And was interested in what a divorce ceremony was like. I believe my uncle's roommate just slept on the couch. We lived with our uncles for a while when my mother worked on the pipeline. I thought they were so selfless by sharing a bed so us kids could have the other bedroom. I would be a teen before I learned that one of my uncles. Wasn't my uncle. He was just my uncle's lover. When I was little. I genuinely believed the Teletubbies were evil and that if I didn't watch them on TV every night, even though I hated the show, that they would come and get me. To be fair though they're kind of creepy. I thought that teachers lived at school. I had a teacher that had a blanket in the back of her classroom. And a mini fridge and this only further elucidated my hypothesis. Edit. I'm sorry I used the wrong word. As a kid. I thought that the world wars were like battle royales where there were no alliances. No surrenders. And just pure bloody violence between every country on earth. E. G. I thought every country fought all of its neighbors simultaneously. Agreed. I also thought there was a WWII and always wondered why my mom didn't bite their box set of documentaries for it like she did for the first two. 
There was an ad for it on the TV. Probably World War II thinking back. I thought guys got periods too. But only once. And you bled and then you were able to impregnate someone. I cut my upper leg during a rugby match and was bleeding near my groin and was devastated because I thought everyone would presume I had my period mid-match and also subsequently would be walking around able to impregnate people. Worst thing is. I wasn't even a stupid kid, we literally just lived in a reserved country and I was a full-time boarder at my school. So never got the talk. Anyway. Thanks for attending my bled talk. When I was 6 I watched a movie, King Khan. Comma and a scene with a bunch of black folks emerging from the mud appeared and I got a bit spooked by it. A bit later. I was at McDonald's with my parents and I saw a black family walk in. Thank god my parents are deaf or I would have asked. Out loud. Why are the mud people here? Mum thought I was racist but I was just a bit inexperienced lol. The dark meat and white meat come from two different birds. I was 12 when they asked me. As they did each year at Thanksgiving. Which kind of meat I wanted. That year. I said. Dark meat. Please. But I feel bad I'm the only one who really eats it and you always have to get an entire second turkey just for me. Double quote. I'm still teased about it to this day. At 46 years old. That reminds me of 4 year old me that hated celery but after my mum told me that these green things on my plate were actually Italian well crabs I ate it like candy. My sister still makes fun of me 17 years later. That sperm were the size of tennis balls and would burst forth from the head of your penis if you slept with a woman. Slither across the bed up into her. And make the baby. Thanks facts of life pop up book with no adults willing to clarify that the objects within were not always to scale. I had a friend who called me up. Somewhat frantic. After the first time he masturbated. He said that he thought that millions of sperm were supposed to come out. But he only got 4 or 5. I had to explain to him that sperm were microscopic. And that what came out of him was globs of semen. He was so relieved. I hung up the phone and laughed my ass off. That if you ask someone if they're a police officer, they have to tell you the truth. There are still people who believe this. Whoever started this urban legend is a genius. Until I was way too old. I didn't know vaginas existed. I thought women just had blank space there and all births were c-sections. I was picturing more of a mitosis I guess. Like the baby and all the bones and stuff were inside, obviously placed there by Jesus. But then when it was time, the skin kind of pinched off around the belly and covered up the baby and gave the baby its own skin. Then, when I finally found out about vaginas, I was picturing something more like the metal flap over the gas tank where you put in the nozzle. When I asked my dad what periods are, he started rambling about when dogs have puppies. Talk to your kids about sex. Folks. I thought Churchill was an architect because when I was little my mum told me he was one of the architects of Israel. That someone could shoot me from the other side of a phone during a phone call. Whenever kid me was on a phone call. I always tried to end the call as soon as possible. And get away from the phone as fast as possible. Edit. Holy shit. This is my highest post in all my time on Reddit. Thanks for the upvotes. Edit 2. Thank you for my first ever gold. I was once told that, British TV presenter, Jeremy Beadle's hand had such small fingers because of a condition, Poland syndrome, that meant he had to have his fingers replaced. And that his fingers were, in fact, pig's toes. For years. This was a piece of obscure general knowledge that I would break out when I felt the need to display the breadth of my weird knowledge. And it went down really well until the days someone finally said don't pigs have hooves? Double quote. I don't know that I have ever experienced such a moment of butt clenchingly cringy embarrassment. Edit. I can't believe my confession of dumbassery got me a gold. A watermelon apple tree will grow out of my stomach if I eat the seeds. I used to think they dropped the ball at Times Square multiple times for each USA time zone. 
I just assumed people stuck around for the extra ball drops cause they were all drunk and having fun. Hilarious edit. Worth mentioning that I believed this until I was an adult and had my east coast wife let me down easy. Another edit. Thanks for my very first award. Seems a fitting one for this post. I grew up in a Jewish household but was aware of the whole Christmas thing. It was my understanding that Santa would go around bringing gifts to kids if they left out a plate of cookies and some milk for him. Seemed easy enough. Twas the night before Christmas and I left the perfect food arrangement out for Santa. Thinking in spite of my religious beliefs. He might leave me a gift in exchange for the snacks. When I awoke the next morning. The cookies and milk were gone but no present was left. I was a furious. How dare this jolly fat man come into my hole. Steal my food and not leave anything in return. I spent years complaining about it and would curse the man's name if I saw him. Of course years later my dad admitted that he had eaten everything. Thanks dad. When I was a kid. My mom told me that people actually had grey skin in the old days for real. And that no color except black. White or grey ever existed back then. I believed that for way too long 17. When I first saw the colorized photo of Charlie Chaplin. I was shocked. Then Gaston told me that no. People were indeed. The same back then as we are now. Only the photos and videos were captured in black and white because of lack of technology. I thought that girls peed from their butts. Then I learned about vaginas and thought girls peed from there. It wasn't until I was like 16 that I realized there was another hole. That men can get pregnant too. Damn you Schwarzenegger. Comma. I was 6 and I saw a man with a big beer belly shopping for diapers at a mall. It made all sense to me and I was so happy I screamed omg you will have a baby. I think I am gonna go rewatch Junior again. That being named Johnny was a sin. There's a part of the song the devil went down to Georgia that goes my name's Johnny and it might be a sin. But I'll take your bet I instantly associated the name with being a sin not making bets with the devil. This made me think kids named Johnny were sons of devil worshippers. I was a very dumb kid. If you turn off a video game without pausing the hero is left paralyzed and defenseless. Yes I actually believe that. Edit. Dang this blew up lol. For some background. This was back in the early 90s before I was ever aware of MMORPGs. We're talking. Like. If I didn't pause the game and just turned the console off. Sonic was easy pickings for Eggman's Robots XD. I used to be so confused about the amount of time it would take to make movies because I was convinced they did it all in chronological order and when they did flashbacks to childhood. I was like wow those actors are so committed I or I would think it must take a long time for their hair to grow or change in any way and never considered it could be a wig lol. Edit. Yes. I have heard of the movie Boyhood. It came out when I was 22. So well past my perception of movies being made that way. But it definitely reminded me of this when I first heard of it and I thought it was really cool that someone actually did that. Someone convinced me for like. 5 seconds that unicorns were real. They just lost their horns through evolution and now they are plain old horses. Dogs equals boys and cats equals girls. I don't know. It made sense to me as a kid for some reasons. Funny thing is my family's dog is a girl and our cat is a boy. People always refer to them as the genders you stated though. That there was an incredibly fat. Slimy dinosaur called a Bloppiosaurus. I even made a whole report about it in kindergarten. Based entirely off of the information my oh so intelligent and generous stepfather told me. My sister was trying to get me to do her homework for her and asked me who Squanto was. I told her that Squanto was the first Indian who was ever born. She wrote the first half of the answer before she said wait a minute. Who were his parents? Double quote. Not me. But when I was 10ish I got my then 7yo brother to believe that he was the reason the TV kept fritzing out. I literally told him that he was bad luck and that he had to go to another room while I tried to fix it. He genuinely believed it. And today he still gives me flack for it. That I cows see atoms spinning in the air. 
Turns out it was visual snow one quarter one quarter. OMG when I was a kid I thought I could see the molecules in the air because of the air was so close to my eyes. Obviously it was visual snow like you said. But yeah I thought the same exact way as you haha. I haven't even thought about that for decades now. I used to think I floaties were the same thing. Just dust I could see because it was super close to my eye, which is actually kinda true I'm pretty sure. That blood was blue until it hit oxygen via a wound cut then it turned red. A surprising number of people still believe this. I had a teacher in elementary school who firmly believed this. I tried explaining it but she insisted and sent me to the office. The assistant principal was furious with her. I used to think TV static was a bunch of some type of microorganisms floating around in my TV that could electrocute you. The WD-40 meant windows down. 40 miles per hour. Someone told me that in middle school as a joke and I took it literally until I was a senior. Someone in middle school told me that his father was a doctor and that the word fart was an acronym for flatulent and L rectal transaction. That people would be more intelligent well informed and more rational as internet access became more widespread i hope maybe it's still gonna happen with the next generation but the older i get the more everyone seems either petty childish selfish stupid or a combination of all of the above to be quite fair our iq tests are consistently getting better over time beside the misinformation campaigns with the harm inherent to them most of the feeling of people are getting dumber is because dumb people are getting louder. I say that in the sense that before the internet people were dumb in silence. Anonymously in their hometown. Now they tweet stream it. My father and I used to mess with my sister as she was growing up. When she saw an orange tree for the first time the oranges were unripe and very green. We then told her that all of the citrus fruits came from the same tree. And depending on when you picked them. That was the fruit you got. They started as limes. Then ripened into lemons. Which would grow into oranges. And then if left too long would grow into grapefruits. She graduated with honors from a major state university this year. We found out that she still believed this during our family trip to Mexico last spring, 2019, when we had to break the news to her. When I was a younger boy I thought that if I was naughty Santa would beat me. Edit. The reason I thought this was because I knew he broke into homes and in generally thought he might be a bad person either way. I am from a Muslim country. There are mosques everywhere. So we always hear as Nazan, called to prayer. I used to believe that Allah, God, was reciting the Ezan. So I was like. I can't understand how we can't know what God is like. What he looks like. And that we can only meet him in the afterlife. Just trap him down when he leaves the mosque after he finished reciting the ezin? Funny story. I didn't actually believe this. My sister did. Me and my sister were 3 and 4. I was thirsty one day and wanted lemonade. My sister. Who felt really bad because I got in trouble for trying to sneak a drink. Wanted to give me lemonade. So. 5 minutes later. She gave me the lemonade and I drank all of it. After drinking all of it, I realized it wasn't lemonade. My sister thought that urinating in a sippy cup would make lemonade. That turkeys drowned by looking at the sky during a rainstorm. I am dumber than a bag of hammers. That the U.S. government had checks in place to prevent blatant corruption. Here's the list so far. So I firmly believed from ages 3 to 8 that every single night. Little elves would march around my bed until morning and that if I dangled my foot off the bed. They would eat my toes. So my mum told me that midnight was the witching hour so if I didn't go to sleep by then. I would get kidnapped by witches. So my mum also told me that if I didn't clean my room. Snakes would raid my room because they were attracted to the mess. So I also thought that a witch stood behind my bed each night and if any bit of hair strayed from my pillow. She would take a piece for her spells. As you can imagine. I didn't sleep very well as a child. I was maybe 4 or 5. My dad was nailing up an old cat flap. I asked him why. 
Well I didn't know the word giraffes at that age. So for a couple of years I was worried about herds of wild giraffes wandering round Britain. Randomly sticking their heads in and suspecting people's cat flaps. When I was a little kid. My grandfather had a small BW TV in the kitchen that he'd watch as he cooked meals. One day I asked him. If the rest of the world is in color. Why did he keep that TV if it was broken? And he didn't know what I meant. I said. When the world changed to color. All the other TVs became color. But that one didn't. So why did he keep it? I believed. From old photos and old TV shows. That the whole world was once in black and white and one day it switched over to color. And all the old BW TVs. Except for the one in my grandfather's kitchen. Had switched over to color TVs too. My grandfather got a good chuckle out of it after I had explained my thinking. I thought Hawaii was in the Atlantic Ocean. Since on maps it's tossed there in the box. Ilaska usually was depicted right beside it. But I'm not a total idiot. And knew where that was. I was in my early 20s when I discovered the truth. Last night I saw this weird TikTok about mermaids and went to the comments and all the top comments were about how mermaids are real and all this evidence and people talking about documentaries they saw and all this shit and there was so much discussion. So for about 4 minutes I was thinking holy shit mermaids are real and they are carnivorous beasts holy shit everyone needs to know about this idk what happened to me but I snapped out of it after that. For a couple months I enthusiastically read holocaust denial topics which I thoroughly believed. I even debated it at a family gathering one time with my uncles which had to have tough that I was a stupid teen. Oh the joys of being 15 and thinking you're smarter than the rest. I believed as a preteen that masturbation could cause me to impregnate myself. I did it anyways with much guilt and fear. Sometimes I would have anxious thoughts about the conversation I would have to have with my family if I did get pregnant. Side note. SXF should be allowed to cover all the bases. In my opinion. Close bracket. When I was a child. I didn't know how babies were made. I thought when two people get married. They're automatically given a baby by God. I went to a Christian kindergarten. So I thought if they have siblings then their parents have to hold several weddings. My dad always told me when I was really young birds could sit on power lines cause they had rubber feet fast forward to school when we were asked a question on how birds could sit on power lines I answered cause they had rubber feet the whole class laughed and I will forever hold it against my dad. When I was 12 I got my appendix out. My mom told me I wouldn't be able to ride on roller coasters anymore. The reason being that there's now an empty spot in my body and my other organs will get scrambled if I go upside down. She had her appendix out and doesn't ride any amusement park rides so it was semi believable. She somehow convinced our family doctor to get on board with this and Yahoo Answers didn't have any answers so it went from semi believable to very believable. Anyways. I didn't ride any roller coasters the whole summer and my dad broke it to me at the end of the season that they were f-king with me. As a child I always assumed that firefighters had big mustaches to show off. Like if you were a firefighter and had a big mustache it showed you never messed up and got burned because that would theoretically be the first thing to get singed or burned off. It's only recently I actually thought about it and realized it's because they have to wear SCBA gear. You need a photo ID to buy spray paint. Told to me by my mother when I was 13. Debunked by myself at 26 when buying a dozen cans for work. Had my license out and everything. I believe that a 401k was literally 401. 000 dollars every American would receive when they retire. It wasn't until I got my first paycheck a few weeks ago that my dad told me exactly what it was when I asked him about it. But not before laughing his ass off. That there were whales in Lake Michigan. I wish this was when I was little. But no. I was in college. I've spent my whole life going to Lake Michigan every summer. And I fell for a satire whale watching page. I told my dad excitedly and he looked like he wished he had the receipt to return me. In the 90s when I first heard about it. 
The theories floated around about Nibiru the 12th planet and everything around the end of the world in 2012. I was brainwashed by a kind of hippie commune who believed in all that stuff. I was still a teenager and the more I read about it, the more I realized it was just crazy theories that didn't make it in the end. I even lost a friend over it for some time. It was around June 2012 and I just told her that it was all bullshit. I didn't want to be mean but. Seeing all the people in that community panicking and renting cabins on mountains to party on the night of the 30th of December made me realize nobody is immune to believing crazy stuff. It shows the importance of education and science. And knowing that not because a theory exists and makes sense that it's necessarily true. Sometimes you need a lot of critical thinking to debunk them. Today I am much more careful about ideas that make sense at first. But can't won't be demonstrated. I saw Pulp Fiction when I was 14 and spent the first years of adulthood thinking that any time a girl needed to powder her nose that she was off doing coke. When the last Mars rover landed I was reading some thread about it. I think someone asked about how they tested rock samples or something and I responded suggesting that it would be coming back. Like. Somehow in my head it made sense that they'd just go pick the damn thing up and bring it back. I clearly just hadn't thought that through but once a comment like that is out there there's no taking it back. Needless to say that a comment like they got pretty quickly blown right out of the water. I'm sure few if any remember that exchange. Rest assured I'll never forget. My dad convinced me that our first 1990s computer monitor could take photos. I was old enough to understand the difference between input and output devices but he was very convincing. I still think about what I may have been doing wrong. Back when Django Unchained came out and I did not know the movie existed. I saw a meme with Leonardo DiCaprio saying the D is silent. First I was not sure if it's the D in his first or last name but then I was convinced for longer than I want to admit. That it's pronounced Leonardo DiCaprio. I kept mistaking Italy for France and vice versa. I was mixing up Turkey and Germany but that's because in Norwegian Turkey is Tikia and Germany is Tiskland. I for some reason also thought that women had their menstruation just all at once every 28 days. This is what having parents that never try to teach kids something and expect the kid to be fully fledged in steel at the age of 5 gives you. Edit. Edit. I used to think of French, the language, was the opposite on the English language. Like how black was the opposite of white. Day was the opposite of night. And French was the opposite of English. For reference. I was born and raised in Canada. Where everything has labels in both French and English. As kids. Me and my sister believed mom had a little bird watching us while she was away. Which would tell her everything we did during the day. At first. We thought mom was making that warning up. Do your chores and be good. The birdie will tell me if you haven't when I get back home. Double quote. But man. She'd be back and smell the guilt on us and ask the exactly right question so that we'd have no choice but accept that the birdie must have told on us. Fun times. Cars have secret wings for emergencies. Like driving off a broken bridge. My dad let. He believed that for an embarrassing length on time. I thought that if a black or brown person and a white person had a baby. It would have blotchy skin patchen. Like a cow. Happy to say that now that I have my own half white. Half brown children. I can confirm that they do not come out with skin like a cow. When I was a kid a friend told me a dog bit his bicep off and it grew back. I believed that and was convinced that we could regenerate. I liked Wolverine and I thought that he would just regenerate faster than regular humans. That my armpit hair wouldn't stop growing. I'm a hairy guy and I was convinced I needed to trim my armpit hair or it would grow down to my waist. My now wife. Who was the one that taught me how hair growth cycles work. Will still randomly laugh and bring it up 10 years later. When I was young. I believed that scientists had everything in reality all figured out. Now that I'm grown. I'm only starting to understand how little we know. It's wonderful. I thought the song Octopus's Garden was by the Muppets and was covered by the Beatles. 
When I was a kid I had the Muppets sing along VHS tapes and one of the songs on one of the tapes was the Muppets doing Octopus's Garden. I saw heard that version first. And the Beatles version later. So for a long time I just thought the Muppets one came out first. TBFO. Who's more likely to sing a song about hanging out with an octopus? A children's entertainment group or a real life band? I used to think Japan was in Europe. I spent the first 12 years of my life thinking it was a European country. Then one day in Japanese class in 6th grade the teacher showed us all a map of Asia and I was in complete shock looking around thinking WTF and everyone else was looking normal whilst I was having a whole existential crisis in the middle of my class Lomeo. When I was a child and had an upset stomach. My mom said I had a tummy bug. My dumbass thought there was literally some creepy pincher like bug in me fking my shit up. I was always terrified to look in the toilet after I pooped cause I didn't want to see it. There was a bug which could bite you and leave freckles. When I was a mind, I got a bug bite on a freckle that I hadn't noticed before. And assumed the bug did it. It took me until I was 14 or so to realize how little sense that made. When I was a kid I thought that every girl was born with a baby already inside of them that only came out once they were old enough and got married. I didn't really know the details of how the baby knew when to come out. But I figured it had something to do with dancing. When I was young. My mom used to put eggshells down the drain and use the disposal. I remember asking her when I was a kid why do you put those down there? Dot. Her reply was it sharpens the blades. I did not question this until my early 20s when a roommate looked at me like I was an idiot. They weren't wrong. I just had behavior memory at this point. That is when critical thinking kicked in. I asked her about it recently and she laughed and did not remember saying that. Thanks for nothing mom. I've put a lot of EM down the drain. When I was a kid I thought babies came out of your mouth. And they were bloody and gross from getting scraped on your bones and teeth on the way out. That flipping the light switch really cost 25 cents. My mom used to tell us to wash behind our ears so potatoes wouldn't grow there. Yo I thought you'd really grow potatoes if you didn't wash behind your ears. I'm definitely skipping the euphemisms with my kid. He's only 4 and thinks already that babies get pooped out and has a closer understanding than I did for a long time. Yikes. My mother told me since I was young that I was the baby in the sun on Teletubbies. I told everyone I knew up until I was 12 which is when I told somebody in front of my mother for the first time. Only slightly embarrassing honestly. My little brother and I were watching the 60s Spiderman cartoon when we were very young and he asked me what the web stick to when Spiderman shoots them up and I very confidently answered the roof of the studio they are filming in. My dad told me. George Washington had wooden teeth because my mom punched him out. So don't mess with mom. My mom told me my dad had a receding hairline because he was rude to the barber. So be nice to Baba. My girlfriend and I were watching a movie. The one with Harrison Ford and that CGI dog I believe. Dot. There was a panning shot of a frozen lake. She made the comment that the entire lake was frozen and that all the fishes in said lake freeze as well. But once summer comes around and the lake thaws. All the fish thaw and continue swimming around like normal. She has a habit of seeing something. Making up an explanation in her head and believing it for the rest of her life. We call them Massey Moments. Her name. My mother used to tell me when I was little that babies were born out of the mother's belly button. She happened to have a ninny. And she told me that's where I came from. Six years later. I'm 11. We're watching a show about birth jiving or something. And I turn to my mother and ask won't her belly button hurt? Dot. What? She says. You know. From having the baby. Oh. Oh. Uh, yeah that's not how that works. She then proceeded to tell me where babies actually come from. I cried that night. That K. I. T. T could actually talk. It was at a car show and I got to sit inside. But started to get upset when I talked to him and he didn't talk back. When my parents told me K. I. T. T. Couldn't actually talk. You'd have thought I just found out Santa wasn't real. 
I completely lost it. Note. I was about 6 or 7. Comma been jaded ever since. When I was a kid I thought that don't drink and drive meant drinking any liquid. In general. I would get really worried that we were gonna be arrested when my dad drank soda while driving. Women don't poop. I went through surges of genuine suspicion whether they do or not until I was around 20. Even to this day. I sometimes don't see my girl go in there for like 3 weeks straight and start getting suspicious again. When I was a kid I believed that in every movie which someone commits suicide. The casting crew looked for any actor who actually wanted to die. Not only suicide scenes. Scenes where people get murdered too. As a kid. I believe that once you become an adult. You just get money. I was infamous for saying. And siblings still kid me about it to this day. Well. When I get my money. Double quote. I have a twin brother. When we were kids a cousin told us that we were going to be triplets in the first place and that we have fought and eaten the other baby inside our mom's womb. My brother did not seem to believe him. But I did for a few years until I decided to ask my mom about it. Just imagine her reaction. I have a vivid memory of being maybe 5 years old and running around in my friend's woods. We were playing in a little stream and all of a sudden this hammerhead shark came out of the stream. It had legs and arms, like a human wearing a hammerhead shark costume, and it started chasing. We, of course, booked it back to my friend's house and went up into his room screaming. His mom came to check and when we explained what happened, she kind of rolled her eyes and just said you're safe and then left the room. I thought this was real for the longest time. Because the memory is extremely vivid. I started telling the story to someone in college and as the words were coming out of my mouth. I was like wait. There is no way this could have happened. Double quote. 